Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well, it's that time again, time for your Patron's Choice Workout. And since there was a three-way tie, October's Patron's Choice Workout is going to be upper body strength with full body cardio drop sets. So what that means for you is some giant sets for two muscle groups at a time. We're going to do low reps of those but lots of sets. We're going to end each set with a full body cardio drop set, which will focus on the muscles we are using. And what makes this workout kind of neat is we're using two different full body cardio drop sets. We'll have a cardio drop set A for rounds one and three, and a cardio drop set B for rounds two and four. If that is super confusing, don't even worry about it because you will figure it out real quick, okay? So what you're gonna need for this workout is a wide variety of weights because we're gonna be really tackling the entire upper body, okay? You'll also need lighter weights for those cardio drop sets, so get out what you have. I'll be using two kettlebells too, which are totally not necessary. I will also be using my BOSU, um, just to elevate myself for a few moves uh, to get a better range of motion. So, if you don't have a BOSU, use a bench, use the ground, whatever, okay? The only other piece of equipment that will be helpful to you is a sturdy elevation to step on today, because we will be doing one move with some step ups and bicep curls. So if you don't have that, do your favorite bicep move right on the ground and don't worry even a second about it, okay? Grab your dumbbells, of course grab some water, and grab your can-do attitude for this very arduous upper body challenge, and I will see you back here for your warm-up. All right, guys, let's get this full body cardio crusher and upper body challenge started with a good warm-up. All right, we're just starting with some arm circles. I won't make you jump yet. So we've got some upper body moves for the entire upper body, grouped together in pairs, and we are just gluing that fun together with some full body cardio drop sets that will emphasize the movements in those strength moves. All right, let's reverse those circles. If that makes zero sense, as always, just follow me, it'll be all good. Get into those legs next. Let's make two more circles. One, two. All right. We're going to start just shifting our weight side to side. Getting the hips, the inner thighs woken up this morning. So this month we're working on upper body and full body cardio. Next month I am hoping to enlist the help of my husband for some Olympic lift coaching. He's been coaching me and I thought maybe he could coach all of us on our Patron's Choice video on some Olympic lifts. He is a decathlete who still holds records at his university, so he says it's because nobody else competed in that, but he's a really, really talented guy. Um, so he's done a ton of power lifts because so many of his, his events were very power focused. So hopefully I'll get him to come on screen and coach. He's a little nervous. All right. Now, we're going to do a couple more here. One and two. And we're going to come up into some squats, okay? Weight in the heels. Really keep that chest nice and big. Remember how in the very beginning of my videos, if you were with me that long, I always reminded us to look where the ceiling meets the wall. That helps you to make sure you keep that chest lifted. You don't round out your spine, and it really forces that weight in your heels. I thought I had pretty decent squat form, so I started doing uh, some front squats with a bar, <laughs> and I realized I had a long way to go. So it's always good to have somebody else look at what you're doing, make sure that you're doing it safely, and with good form. All right, that was your last squat. Take a small dumbbell, we're gonna do some front raises. Just up to your eyes. Warming up the shoulders, also warming up the lats on that down phase of the motion. We think a lot about our shoulders when we do front raises, but we have to use our 
lats to bring that weight back down. All right, let's do two more. One and two. I think that was three more because I'm a space cadet, but oh well. All right, let's do some curls. Very small weight here. I'm doing mine hammer style to give my wrist that I just can't stop talking about. Time to warm up. Let's do two more. One and two. Now you can keep those weights in your hands and do some push-ups or you can totally get rid of them. I'm going to do these push-ups all on my knees. We're just warming up. Asking our chest to do what we want. Asking our triceps to do what we want. All right, let's do two more here. One, two. Very, very, very good. All right, your warm-up is finished. If your arms don't feel super de duper ready, keep working through some ranges of motion for them to get them warmed up. If not, clear out your space for our first upper body giant set. Okay, I'll see you in just a minute. All right guys, we are ready for that first giant set. It's for our back and our biceps. We have push pulls, rows, curls, and rows on the other side to do. We are going to do four sets of this giant set, okay? Eight reps per move, and after each set, we're gonna do either cardio drop set A, which focuses on the biceps, which will be a step up with curls, or burpee curls if you'd rather do that. Or we're gonna do cardio drop set B, which is kettlebell burpee rows. I'm gonna use two kettlebells for that. You can also use dumbbells here, okay? These are gonna be 50-10 intervals, so this is gonna take a while. So get your gloves strapped on, get your can-do attitude strapped on, and we will get right started, okay? So for the push pulls, I'm using 12 pounds. The reason for that is that wrist. Have you heard about my wrist? All right, here we go. Eight reps. Push, pull, that's one. It's kind of a hybrid move, gets the biceps in the back, that's two. Tighten your core. Usually I'd be using about 15 for this, that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now, although I'm only doing eight reps on the rows, I'm really trying to focus more on my lats and getting that weight back far enough. So I'm just using 30 pounds here for these eight reps. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Really try to squeeze it up the top, get that weight up there as far as you can. Okay, I'm doing hammer curls next with 20 pounds per hand. You can do regular curls here. I'm just watching the wrist again. So here we go, eight reps. One, elbows tight. Core the same. Two, three, four, five, six, when he's feeling good, seven, and eight. Never fails that I get a text message just as soon as I start working out. That is totally fine. All right, we're going to our right hand. We're gonna row again with that 30 pounds or whatever weight is good for you. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, two more. Seven and eight. Like I always tell you guys, 
There is never a perfect day to have a workout. You're going to have life hit you right in the face as you're trying to do this. So just know that it happens to me too, okay? Your first set is finished. Mark that down. And we're going to go into our cardio drop set A, which is either going to be step ups with curls. I'm going to use 12 pounds for that just to kind of burn out those biceps. Or you could do a burpee curl. So what that might look like for you is push up on those weights. Curl at the top, okay? You have a choice. Don't you like to have options, okay? I'm gonna be using my 20 inch box for this. Cause it's super duper -duper awkward to try to get up on the 24 if you are five foot one like me, and then try to pound out a curl at the top. So, you have 10 seconds. I'm doing step ups with curls. This time at least, if I get bored, I'll do another thing. I'll do those burpees, okay? You do you, here we go. Stepping it up. Curl at the top. If you want more core focus here, try to hover or stabilize your balance on the one leg, okay? You could do a fun Bosu move here, like that. Anything that's gonna challenge you cardiovascularly while still Reinforcing the time under tension for those muscles, okay? Our next set, once we get through that, we'll be doing a back focused cardio drop set. You have eight seconds. Very good. Excellent. All right. Stop your time there if you're using the timer too. Then we're going to go into our second set. So think about your weights here. You can raise them to get a progressive overload here on your muscles or you can keep them the same. If they were crazy too high last time and you're compromising your form, lower them. This is your second set, okay? Push pulls, I'm sticking with those 12s because of my wrist. Here we go. It's getting better though. Push them straight out, pull them back. Push. Just like you don't know how to open a door. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Very good. All right, rows on the left. You can do these lawnmower sound, just have your forearm resting on that front leg. You can do it on a bench, whatever you got. Here we go. One, two, squeeze, three, four, keep that chest facing down, five, six, seven, eight. It's really hard to get that last half inch of squeeze at the top, but give it a good college try, okay? Lower your weights if you can't. Here we go, hammer curls for me with 20s. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, last one, eight, all right, curls on the right, and round two will be finished, here we go, one, two, three, four, Five, six, two more, seven, last one, eight, very, very good. All right, your second set is finished. I'm going to grab my kettlebells to do those double kettlebell burpee rows, okay? Here we go. All right, 
So this workout is very, very tedious. It's very arduous. There are lots of sets, lots of things you have to do without breaks. So it reminds me of a little quote I used to tell my kids when they were struggling with a good attitude for the day. Um, for some reason it came to my mind this morning. But it is as follows. Your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are the seeds. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds, okay? They actually hate when I say that now, and I've forgotten to say it for a while, but think about that. People always say you are what you eat, but you really are what you think. So let's all be mindful of that today as we do our double kettlebell burpees or the move of your choice for your back and try to get our minds right here, okay? I'm doing a wide row because I like to step wide with that burpee. So I'm going to kind of take my elbows out here. You could also just do a regular bent over row with your burpee, okay? Just like this, taking the legs narrow, chair pose, squeezing at the top. Whatever you do, do it and plant flowers with your thoughts. Good. Excellent. That's done. Not so bad, right? So you're finished with your entire second set plus your cardio drop set. I'm using 30 pound kettlebells for those burpee rows. I don't know if I mentioned that. But that's what I'm doing. Take a break. Give your muscles a little bit to recover. Even though that was a cardio drop set type of move, you're still going to need some muscle recovery. Even though you're not using your biggest hoss cat weights for that move. Alright, so after this set, we'll be doing our cardio drop set A, which will be either step ups with curls or burpee curls, or your favorite move for your biceps. And then after the last set, we'll be back to those double kettlebell burpee rows, okay? You could also do these AA drop set, BB drop set, so that you are really burning out those same muscle groups all at one time. I will leave that up to you. Either way, it's going to be fun. So let's go and get this third set knocked out. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, get that squeeze at the top, five, six, seven, eight. Very, very good. I had to lower my weights to really get that squeeze because I wasn't getting that when I was lifting heavier weights. So here we go. Nice curls. One, two, three, can you guess which move I forgot? <laughs> Four, we'll put it at the end. Five, six, seven, eight. It was the push pulls. Maybe I was just hoping you wouldn't notice, I don't know. Just kidding. We're going to get them after this set of rows. Here we go. Squeeze. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. You know you need business when you're telling people to row back to their hips and you actually hit yourself in the hip doing just that. Okay, here we go. Push pulls. One. Two. I never know which way to open a door. Three. That's how I came up with this move. Four. I'm always pushing when I should be pulling. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Very good. That is your third set. Mark it off so you don't do 900 sets. 
If you have a memory that's anything like mine, you'll be doing the same thing all day. So grab a quick drink. You have 10 seconds. Burpee curls or step ups with a curl. I used to tell all my athletes that we were doing curls for the girls or buys for the guys. But I think now, how stupid that is. You curl for yourself. <laughs> Don't curl to impress somebody else. Don't do anything to impress somebody else. You can add a knee raise if you want a little more of a challenge balance-wise and a little more core focus. Seconds. Really squeeze even with this lighter weight. Woo! Excellent. Your third set is completely done now. You get a drink. When I fold laundry now, I've been watching a little bit of the British baking show on Netflix. So, every time my muscles get nice and toasty, I imagine Mary Berry saying that they're beautifully crisp, which incidentally is a word that my oldest little guy hates. He hates the word crisp. So, we always try to irritate each other with saying the words that absolutely get under each other's skin, and crisp is one of them. So, make sure that you use heavy enough weights that your muscles are beautifully crisp at the end of these giant sets and drop sets, okay? All right, so this is our cardio set B if you're doing it like me. After this set, we'll be doing those burpee rows, but our regular strength moves will be the same. So here we go, push pulls. I will not forget them this time. Push, that's one, that's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Good job, that's the last time you'll have to do those. For this workout at least, let's row. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Really challenge yourself on those. Curls. Sticking with 20 if you want to raise or lower, you do you. Here we go. One, two, three. Set back that leg if you need to. Four. We'll keep you from arching your back. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. Last one. Eight. So hard not to arch there. So hard not to swing. But if you tried your best, you did awesome. Okay. Last set of rows until you got to do your burpee rows. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight, really squeeze. Whew. Excellent job. Mark it off. Get ready for your cardio drops at B. B for boy, oh boy, is this fun. And we will have 10 seconds before you need to start that madness. All right, grab your drink, get your mind right. Grow some flowers, not weeds. Here we go. 
I'm going to hit a narrow row this time. Try to make that burpee as dynamic as you can, but not if it makes you wibble wobble too much on your kettlebells. Make the row slow. Make the push-up explosively dynamic. Try to look four feet in front of you. Almost there. Less than ten. Actually, less than five. Woo. All right. Towel off. You're finished with that first giant set and all of its cardio drops at Madness Fun. So clear out your space. We're going into a giant set for your chest and your triceps. Awesome job. All right, guys, it's party time yet again. We're heading into our chest and triceps giant set. So we're starting with inclined chest presses. I'm using my BOSU. I'll have my back on that. We're going to do kickbacks on the left for your triceps. We're going to do decline push-ups. I don't have my feet up on the box. If you do not want to do a decline push-up, maybe a good challenge for you might be to do push-ups on your BOSU and have an unstable surface. So that might be a good idea. You could do some dive bombers there. Just go wild with your imagination, okay? So then we'll hit those kickbacks on the right. I will be using 30, per hand, per, per, 30 pounds per hand for those incline chest presses. I'm going to be doing kickbacks with... 15 and decline push-ups with just body weight. You could also use your weighted vest here. So challenge yourself, make sure it works for you, whatever you're doing. And let's get this muscle party started with some incline chest presses. Now, due to my wrist, which I keep talking about, I have to be really careful getting the weights up there. So here we go. Get in a good position for you. Bring those, those weights straight down to your chest. Here we go. One, two, three, do regular chest press here, four, if you don't have a BOSU, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Very, very good. Set those weights down carefully and slowly. And we're going to hit some kickbacks on the left. All right. Here we go. Elbow up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Very good. All right. Do some decline push-ups and we'll hit that other arm. Okay? You could also put your feet on the round side of your BOSU and do some decline push-ups that way. There we go. Party time. Eight of them. One. Two. Three, four, I'm doing a wide push up here. Five, six, two more. Seven, eight. Very, very nice. All right, kickbacks on the right. 15 pounds again. Elbow up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, two more, seven, eight. Ouchie. All right. You got through your first set. Your first giant set, that is. Mark it off. Feel good about it. We are pairing all of these fun moves with man makers, okay, for your first cardio drop set. So I'm going to use 20 pounds per hand here. I'm going to have to add my slugs back in, which I know are not called slugs, but inserts. 
So I'm adding those back in. And then we will get this cardio drop set party started. So man makers, you can do with a single push up. You can do it with two. I like doing it with three because as my students say in my boot camp, they think I might be the nicest St. Damascus they've ever met, which I think is a terrifying compliment, but um, others call me pain with a giggle. So I'm going to do three push-ups for these man makers, okay? You have 10 seconds before you have to do that. So push-up, row, push-up, row, push-up. Clean it, press it up to the shoulders, and shoulder press up the top. Here we go. If you have 50 seconds of this, keep a good pace, but make sure you keep good form above all else, even if you have to go super slow. Very good. Be careful deadlifting those weights back down. Tighten your core when you're rowing. Twenty seconds left. Good job. Just a few more seconds. All right. Done. Whew. Whew. On your next set, we'll be doing overhead extensions with reverse lunges, so probably use a pretty smallish kettlebell with that one to get that done. You could use a single weight or you could just do um, tricep push-up burpees if you want to do that. Or just regular burpees to focus on the chest, okay? The reason I like these man makers for this is I always do one, lots of push-ups, and I always do them tricep push-up style. So I'm getting the chest, but I'm really focusing on the triceps for really both of these drop set cardio moves. So let's go to our second set of incline chest presses. I'm sticking with my 30 pounds per hand. I said that a lot better this time. Sometimes my tongue just gets so twisted. I don't know if that's because of the amount of coffee I drink or the rate at which my thoughts dart throughout my head. All right. Because I only drink half-calf coffee, so I'm thinking it's probably the rate of my crazy thoughts. So grab those weights, get them carefully, safely, up to that chest, and push. Okay? Got eight reps. This is your second set. Here we go. One. Two. Three, think about the muscles that are stabilizing here too. Four. Five, push. Six. Seven. Eight. Very, very good. Those weights safely down. You got kickbacks next. Make sure you got room to do your thing. This time I felt a little bit wonky in my wrist, so I'm going to use 12 pounds for those kickbacks, especially on this left side. Elbow up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Very good. We'll hit those decline push ups next. If you want to do your kickbacks right after the first side, that's totally fine. I get it. One, two, three, four. Five, squeeze the chest. Six, 
seven, eight. Ooh, don't let that back arch. It wants to real bad. All right, here it goes again. I like to rest my other forearm on my legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very, very good. Mark off that second set because you're finished with it. All except for your drop set, of course. So, this time we're doing overhead extensions with reverse lunges. So I've got a 20 pound bell here. So extend at the top. Okay, when you start those just like that, we're keeping our elbows in nice and tight. That's gonna be super hard for 50 seconds. Your other option here is to do a burpee with a tricep press back. Um, you could do a wide push-up burpee, any kind of burpee that focuses on your chest. I will leave that fun up to you, okay? You have 10 seconds. This is your cardio drop set B. Sounds official, doesn't it? You got 50 seconds of this. So the weight comes down when you go back. Such a fun combination move. Deep into those lunges. Don't forget your lunge form. Focusing on your triceps either, okay? You want your knee behind your toe. Lower straight into that heel. Woo, boy. This is a good one. 20 seconds left. Straight up. My stomach's growling because it's almost lunchtime. Hope you don't hear that on the video. Seven. Five. Three. Keep those elbows in tight. One. Whew. Aren't you glad we only have to do that twice? Shoe low and mercy. Okay. Wipe it off. Get a drink. And you're going to crush that third set with me. If you are short on time, do two of these giant sets per muscle pair and two of the cardio drop sets and move along to the next group, okay? We're working on that whole upper body here, so you'll get enough in even if you don't have enough time, okay? A lot of these muscle groups are not just independent of each other. That's why you need to leave some space in between lots of them because sometimes to work our chest, not sometimes, always to work our chest, we'll be using shoulders and triceps. So don't feel bad if you don't have time to do four sets today. You're going to be getting a lot of reps in for each muscle group, okay? We are back to the beginning with our incline chest presses. Got eight reps. Let's go. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. Whew. All right. Third set of those is crushed. Get your weights for your tricep kickbacks. I'm sticking with 12s, okay? Resting my other arm on my legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, whew, eight. Having trouble with some full extension there. Whew. Let's go ahead and knock out that other side. We're here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. Seven and eight. Good, good squeeze. 
All right, now let's crush some decline push-ups. If you're really new at push-ups, do incline push-ups. Takes a little less pressure, takes some pressure off the arms. So here we go for eight. Hop it up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Woo! Good times. Third set is finished. This seems like it's taking so much longer than our first sets. Maybe it's just because the moves are very trying. All right, we have man makers for your drop set cardio move. Take those arms out a little bit. Think about your chest here. Think about your triceps. You're using both for those push-ups, for your overhead presses. Man maker is just really an upper body annihilator altogether, plus a full body move. So. You really can't beat it. I'm doing three push-ups, just in case you want to with me. Just positive pressure coming here, no, no bad peer pressure. Here we go. Push-up row. Push-up row. Push-up again. Clean it. Press it. Here we go for number two. Push-up row. Push up row, another push up, or not. Woo, clean and press it, use the power from your legs. Push up row, push up row, you can stop there, or you can add another push up. You have 10 seconds left. Try to get one more in. Almost got it. Good job. That is terrible. <laughs> In the best way. All right. You're through your third round of giant sets and drop sets. So this round will be our last round and we'll hit those overhead extensions with reverse lunges after that. Okay? Good times. Make sure you drink. Make sure you breathe and thank your amazing body for what it's done. Now this is your last set of these. So if your weight is getting to be to the point that you can't manage it with good form, I want you to lower it. If you are just pumping out these reps like nothing, I want you to raise it, okay? So think about where you are by about that sixth rep. Um, and then choose your weights based on that, okay? All right. Incline chest presses are coming right up. Oh. All right. Slowly and carefully get down. You got plenty of time. All right. Push them up. Here we go. One, going to eight. Two. Three. Four. Five, two more. <laughs> nope, not two more. Six, two more now. Seven, last one. Push it up. Eight. Very good. Get those weights safely down. Oh yeah. Last time you have to do those. You're welcome. Here we go. Straight into tricep kickbacks. On the left. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and knock them out on the right. Might as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
two, keep smiling, we're almost done. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, decline push-ups or whatever push-up you have decided to do today. Do what works for you. Let's hop up there and crush these. Remember, weight on the outside of the palms to put less pressure on your wrists. Here we go. One, two, three, tighten your core. Four, five, six, two more. Seven, eight. Oh, I think the hardest part of that is stepping down after your arms are so tired. All right, that is your fourth set. You have crushed it. Get your mind right, because you've got one more set of your second tricep move. So for me, that's gonna be a reverse lunge with an overhead tricep, tricep extension. So whatever that move is for you, whether it's burpees or anything else that's all the fun, get your mind on it, think about your form, and get it done, okay? You have 50 seconds of this period. So even if you have to stop the move you're doing, do something else, lower your weight, don't quit, okay? Then we get to do shoulders, traps, and lats to wrap all this fun up. And if you still haven't had enough, you could always add those Cardio drop set sections in as a scrambler. <laughs> I dare ya. <laughs> 13 seconds. Oh. Woo. <sighs> this is not a heavy weight for me, but wow. <sighs> Very good. Oh. All right, guys. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a two to three minute break. Wipe yourself off. Let your muscles relax, stretch them a little bit if you need to. And we're going to get into our next giant set, okay? Awesome job wrapping your mind around this. Awesome job sticking with me. So use the next couple minutes to mentally and physically prepare for what we're doing next, okay? All right, guys, we are right down to the wire here. We are at your final giant set for your shoulders, your traps, and your lats, okay? So we're going to start with front and lateral raises, okay? Just here and here, I'm using 12 pounds for that. I'm gonna use 40 pounds per hand for some shrugs, okay, to get some traps on me. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my 30 pound kettlebell and my BOSU for some pullovers for my lats. If you don't have a BOSU, don't worry about it. It just um, extends your range of motion. So if you have a bench, you could use that. Um, something you could lay safely on to do these. Um, we're gonna finish off this giant set with shoulder presses. So I'll probably use 20 or 25 pounds for those. And then our cardio drop set A, of course, is going to be a curtsy with a lateral raise, okay? If you have lighter weight, you could probably do it at the same time. If not, you can curtsy first and then raise it up, okay? Probably use 12s for those, maybe 10s. Um, our cardio drop set B will be 50 seconds of burpee shrugs. So I'll probably use double kettlebells for that, okay? So off we go with our first move, which is going to be a front and lateral raise. So... 12 pounds per hand for me. I was walking around like I didn't know what I was doing, which is probably true. Here we go. The two equals one here. One. Two, slow down on the way down. Three. Four. Five, six, two more, seven, last one, eight, Whew. snap, crackle, pop. All right, 40 pounds per hand for eight shrugs. This is harder for me to grip, so I may end up one of my other weights. One, shrug those shoulders, two, Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Very good. Put those down. All right, we are going straight on to those pullovers for your lats. Get your weights ready for that. Got eight of these. One. Two. Three. Four. Get a good stretch. Five. Six. Lower your weight if you can. Seven. Eight. Very good. That weight down safely. You have shoulder presses for your final move in this first round of giant sets. All right, here we go. You could do a push press here too. One, two, three, four, five. You can do these regular hammer style. Six, seven, eight. Very, very good. Whew. Put those weights down. Mark it down that you have survived and thrived. And we'll go into our cardio drop set move. All right, so it's gonna be curtsy with a lateral raise. So I'm going to start with 10 here. And I may have to go down for that. Okay, make sure you have enough space to do it. I probably won't. So just know that going in. Yeah, should be okay. All right. I might even have to take mine a little bit this way to get that done. You do what you have to do with your space. And if that move is totally not working for you, do a burpee with a lateral raise, okay? You have 10 seconds. Your second cardio drops that will be burpee shrugs. So you won't have to worry much about space for that one. Okay, so you can do it right as you step, okay? But if you like having the stability before you lift those weights, if you're using heavier ones, this is totally fine too, okay? With the curtsy, remember, you wanna keep your hips straight forward. The twist kinda goes on with the back leg. The torso is staying forward. Almost there. Getting our full body into these moves helps it become a little more of a cardiovascular challenge. As does using nice heavy weights. Awesome. You are fully finished with that first set now, okay? So grab a drink, towel off a bit. Think about where you're going. Are you going up or are you going down? Are you staying the same with your weights? You've had a chance to kind of work through the movements and think about your form. So now see what you can do to challenge yourself. And I'll think about that too. Just not too hard or I'll quit. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, here we go, round two. Breathe it out. One, tighten that core. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Very challenging. 
seven, eight, Whew. shrugs. Now, this time I'm going to use my power block sets because they're just a little easier to hold on to. Still gonna grab that 40 pounds per hand. But I feel like I'm not going to have as much of a risk of dropping the weights on my toes. So that's why we do what we do. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nice. Pullovers are next. Grab your bosu if you have it. Or just walk over to your bosu if you have any sort of room in your space. I assume everyone has like six inches like me to move around in. All right. Weights up. You can do this with two weights as well. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo -hoo. That one's done. Now we just have shoulder presses to go. I'm going to use 25 per hand this time. Hopefully not be real sorry about that. Make sure if you're using adjustable dumbbells that all your plates are in there tight. Mine sounded like they weren't. Okay, here we go. One, two, you can do these seated as well. Three, I'm doing a hammer style because my wrist. Four. Five, six, two more, seven, push, eight, Woo. all right, well, well then, we got done with your second set, so we're going to go into your cardio drop set move B, which is going to be a burpee with a shrug, so, I'm using double kettlebells. You can use your weights, okay? I might do two shrugs at the top just for funsies. And off we go. Yeah. All right, guys, I have a little bit of a camera problem. You have 10 seconds. This is my second time doing these burpee shrugs, so <laughs> here we go. When things happen like that that delay you or make you do something twice, just an opportunity to get better. I'm going to do two shrugs at the top. I had 18 seconds to go on my last set of these and the camera went and just shut off. I was like, what is this about? But it must be that I needed to do some more. Two shrugs at the top. You can do more than two shrugs. You can do one shrug. You can leave up the push up altogether. About 10 more seconds to go. You can add a double push up. I'm going to do my last two shrugs. Excellent. All right. Whew. You're completely through that second set now. You know what's next. You've got those front and lateral raises for your third set. Good times. All right, let's get this party started. We're going to do front and lateral raises for eight. Here we go. One. Two, 
three, keep smiling, mind as well, four, five, six, two more, seven, last one, and eight. Excellent job. Whew, nice, nice. All right, let's get those weights for shrugs. Get the weights for shrugs. Good grip. Make sure your upper lip goes up like Elvis, and here we go for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Plop those down. Carefully, of course. Carefully plop your weights. All right. One of my bells for the pullovers. Got eight of those. Here we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slowly and safely down. Oh yeah. Shoulder presses are your last move here in this round. I'm going to grab 25 pounds again. Again, if you want to make these push presses, get a little power going. That's also good. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep it tight, eight, Woo. party time, all right, those are finished for your third set, curtsy lateral raises are coming up, get your weights for that, you need to go up, or you need to go down, I'm going to use my tensies again, and I'm going to go sideways so I don't impale anything. Knock the top right off my coffee table. All right, 10 seconds, which I probably should have just moved. So give stuff you can move. You don't have to work around it. Here we go. forward. Nice and slow on the way down. Don't focus on the time. Focus on the quality of your movements. Twelve seconds. Almost there. Very good. Whew. Nice, nice work. Last time you have to do those, you're fully finished with your third round. So, feel really good about that. Then think about what you need to do with your weights for that fourth round. Oh. first. I'm going to get my weights 
set up again so that I'll be ready to move right into my shrugs. If you need an extra minute to rest, just hang out while I do that, or you can go ahead and get started. Here we go. Front and lateral raise combo for the win for the last time. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, halfway there, five, six, seven, Eight. Whoo! Last time you have to do that. All right, let's get some shrugs in. Still using 40 pounds per hand. Here we go for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Done with those nice to not knock these things right off of our list. I'm a list person, but I forget to look at my list, so things still don't almost always get done. So, huh. all right. Here we go. Eight pullovers. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good times. All right. We've got shoulder presses for the last time. Move that bow so if you need to. Don't move it if you don't. <laughs> and we'll get that done. Whew. Are you ready? This is your last move. You can do this. Come on. Whew. Here we go. One, two, three, tighten that core. Four, protect your back. Five, I'm growling it out. Six, Seven, I know it's not easy. Eight, definitely not easy for me. So, make no mistake, I challenge myself with these crazy videos. All right, your cardio drop set move is gonna be your burpee shrugs, okay? You can just hit regular shrugs here with a lighter weight. You can hit uh, a burpee with some kind of a back fly or something like that, whatever you feel like is good for you. And we will do our final cardio drop set. Awesome, awesome job. You have 10 seconds. Get your mind wrapped around 50 seconds of fun. And let's do this. This is gonna be no big deal. Here we go. I'm doing two shrugs at the top. Maybe we should do three. Let's try three. One, two, three. Ah, uh, let's go for four next time. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three. Smile down. Four. Your smile will be really interesting while you're doing shrugs, so I encourage you to try it. One, two, three, four, Woo. one last push up in. Oh, very good, guys. You are all finished with this workout. Unless, of course, 
you would love to do some sort of scrambler punishment with these cardio drop set moves. So what that might look like is set up your timer for 50-10, 45-15, 30-10, your time for, and do each one of these drop set moves like the curtsy lateral raises, burpee shrugs, man makers, overhead extensions with reverse lunges, step ups with curls, or double kettlebell burpee rows, okay? You can make that into a little hit set for your homework at the end. Maybe run through it twice, okay? Should be about eight moves, so if you want to add another 16 minutes of fun, or maybe just eight minutes, doing them all at once, um, I encourage you to do that. It'll be lots of fun. Good burnout. So, if not, I want you to dry yourself off, meet me on the mat for a cool down to thank your amazing upper body and really your whole body in general, okay? See you in just a minute. All right, guys, we are ready for your cool down. Let's just start in a nice seated position. We're going to stretch out our lats, our obliques, our shoulders here, okay? We're just gonna rock side to side. Starting with a dynamic movement, we're just gonna move into a static one. Now we're gonna hold it here on the right, really lift and raise the chest. Don't collapse into that lower arm. Stretch through those lats and shoulders and obliques. Don't hold your breath. And come up to the center. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Awesome. And come up. Now I want you to interlace your fingers. I want you to roll those shoulders forward. Round out your spine. We're going to stretch the muscles of the upper back, your rhomboids, your rear delts. You also feel this down low in your spine. Now I want you to counter that move by opening the chest, lifting it, pushing the arms back behind you, squeezing the muscles of the back now instead of relaxing them, and opening the muscles of the chest. My hands are so shaky, this is hard to do. Okay, let's do that whole thing one more time, okay? Interlace those fingers, roll the shoulders forward. Take it up and squeeze. Awesome, and release. All right, so now we're gonna come onto all fours. We're gonna take our knees nice and wide. We're gonna do a nice child's pose, okay? Your knees might be slippery if you're, on, if you're wider than your mat when you do this. So, I want you to press into your palms so that you feel it in your lats and shoulders. And I want you to just sit the hips back into a nice child's pose. Now we're going to go to the left, left hand on the bottom, right hand on top, and shift your hips back towards your right hip, towards your right foot. All right, bring it back center. Let's take it to the right, so right hand's on the bottom, left hand's on the top and shift the hips back and toward your left foot. Excellent. Walk them back center. Walk those knees in. Get back into a tabletop position. Send the weight back into the heels. Work on those calves a little bit. Push back into the heels to get the hamstrings. Mine are nice and tight today. Heel to heel to win. Slowly roll it up. Let's hit the triceps now. So pat yourself on the back. Pull the elbow across the body to lengthen the triceps.
flip side. Awesome work. Crisscross the arms a little bit. Let's hit one more stretch for the legs. We use those quads a little bit, getting up and down for those burpees. Okay, we're going to take one arm up, grab the toes of the opposite foot, relax that quad, relax the front of the thigh, drive the hips forward, and stretch. Excellent. Let's get to that other side. So, right arm up for counterbalance. Drive the hips forward. Relax that leg that you're pulling on or stretching. And release. Awesome job today, guys. If you need to stretch more, absolutely do it. If not, I will see you back up at the camera for your send off. So proud of you. All right, guys, amazing job crushing your October Patron's Choice workout. I hope you had a lot of fun with those giant sets and those full body cardio drop sets also. They were very, very mentally and physically challenging, so if you finished any part of this, pat yourself on the back because you did an amazing job. Now what I need you to do, as always, is drink a lot of water today, get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this workout, as usual, and if you have any questions about what that might be or how to put that together, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com. We are doing more and more nutritional counseling and more and more online personal training. So really hit us up for that. Um, see what we have to offer. Um, we have just some wonderful opportunities for you there to crush your goals nutritionally as well as training wise. So you can also hit us up at that same email address for our four week glute growing program. And we are still working on our Velvet Hammer Pipes program. I am filming about one to two workouts per week for that. So we are trying to get that one all ready for you and out there for you to purchase, okay? So we'll keep you posted on that. Make sure to stretch some more if you need to. Tell somebody difficult you love them because they are gonna be there anyway, making your life wreak a little bit of havoc. So just be loving, try to understand where they're coming from and just make the world a brighter place by being you, okay? We talked a little bit about what we need to focus on when we think about really anything, but especially our training, but um, my little sing-song saying that I say to my kids about the way you think should ring true for you this month and always, okay? Your mind is a garden, your thoughts are the seeds, you can grow flowers or you can grow weeds, okay? So grow some flowers this week, this month, always. Really be kind to yourself. And whether you felt like those cardio drop sets just had you feeling like alive and on fire, or whether you needed to stop, drop, and roll after the burn. It is your health today and every day, so you better hit it hard. You better come up to this camera and bang that hammer with me. All right, here we go. It is your health today and every day, so you better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome day, guys. An awesome month of October, and I will see you soon.